Hi everybody, this is my daughter Rose. And this is my mom, Inji. Welcome to Revolutions in Health. We're here to bring you all the latest in health, wellness, and nutrition. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We have new videos every Thursday and you don't want to miss them. That is right. So today we were talking about different subjects to um, let you know about and we really came on a, a subject that's not really nutrition wise, mm -hmm. but it's just as important because you're putting it in very close areas of your body and we wanted to talk about deodorant. So um, they contain so many chemicals if you buy the traditional deodorant, but when you try to use the natural brands, sometimes they don't really measure up. No. And through lots of trial and error, we finally found our forever deodorants after kissing a lot of frogs <laughs> and having a lot of sweaty nights. So we're going to share those with you today. Um, what deodorants have you tried? Let's see. I started out, this was my go-to always, and it was just the regular Dove deodorant. I loved it. I like the smell, and it really did control wetness for me and odor, so that way um, my silk tops or, or sheer tops wouldn't end up getting sweaty. And I really liked it, but I really wanted to get away from the chemicals that are in these traditional deodorants. So then, of course, I went to, I tried the crystal one, and then I tried the crystal roll-on. And I really liked this, but it was really interesting. Once you put it on, it took forever to dry. Yeah. So I literally was blow drying my armpits. So it's a long morning. It's a long morning. I mean, do I need to blow dry more areas? No. So I, I don't really love that for this reason. It stays wet for a long time, but it did control odor to a degree and wetness mostly. But <laughs> mostly, I mean, it's natural, right? It's natural. It's not going to be, uh, you know, like the chemical kind where it eradicates all your wetness. It's just not going to happen. But we, what you do want to do is control the odor wise, I think, <laughs> so you're not stinky. So I ended up with Schmidt's. Uh, I like the rose vanilla scent. This one smells so good. It does. It smells like, it smells like a perfume. It's really lovely. And um, it really controls the odor for me. I really like that. But um, as far as if it's really super hot outside, like we live in Southern California, and if, you, if it's a 90 plus degree heat, or 100 even, um, it's not super effective in controlling wetness, but you don't stink. So I guess that's, that's the plus. And you're not putting chemicals on your body. So at that point, that is my favorite. Schmidt's Rose and Vanilla Stick Deodorant, love it. How about you, Rose? Let it tell well, us. Well, I tried quite a few deodorants as well. I actually also tried the Schmitz. I had um, the lime and bergamot, not the rose. I don't have it anymore. For me, it didn't work. I didn't smell when I used it, but it made me sweat more than mm -hmm. I would without wearing any deodorant. And that just happened to be with my body chemistry. It, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. I literally would have it like drip down my arm, which is weird because I don't sweat a lot to begin with. So that was not one for me. Um, and then I also, I decided to do some research and I ended up ordering this Nivea one on Amazon, but it's a German brand of Nivea, which is, I don't know if any of you have researched this, but there's different manufacturings for Nivea. So like even the hand cream is different that comes from Germany than comes from Mexico, which is mainly mm. what we get in Southern California. So I wanted to get the German brand something new to try. And this one is 0% aluminum as well. And a lot of people had really good reviews of it and it says it will last for 48 hours. It does not, but <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good if you're in cold weather, it works really well. If you're in Southern California, not so well. Like it'll last you maybe six hours and then. So 100 plus degree heat, no. Yeah, no. No, okay. In the winter, that one's okay. Oh. And it does smell really good. And then I also tried the crystal one. That one worked okay for me. It wasn't great. I had the same experience as my mom it's and wet. it was that wet all the time and I didn't want to blow dry my armpits either. And then my friend actually recommended that I try Native and I was a little leery of buying this one at first. They had it at Target, but it was like $11, $12 for a deodorant and I was like, yeah, that just seems pretty pricey for deodorant. It's a little expensive you know? for deodorant. Yeah. And like it literally goes on your armpits. So it seems a little 
extra. Um, but I, she told me how wonderful it was, mm -hmm. how her husband even used it, and he was very active. And I was like, well, I'm gonna bite the bullet and get it. And you know, it's my favorite deodorant ever. I barely sweat with it. It doesn't make me smell. It does last 24 hours. Um, and it smells so good. And I even got my husband to use it now. So that's exciting. Aluminum free family. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's really good though, because it's important to not put chemicals in your armpits because ladies, this is the area where you're going to want to put the least amount of chemicals to keep the chemicals out of your breast tissue, your lymph nodes under your arms. So it is important to sweat. I, in our society, of course, we don't want to be stinky. So, no. you know, there's got to be a balance between this. You, you, you don't want to clog your pores and cause any kind of congestion no. in this area and keep it, you know, flushing itself out. So, but um, you don't want to be the smelly one in yoga no, class either, where you're you like, oh, I'm trying a natural deodorant. <laughs> and, and, and some people smell a little more than others, so that's not yeah. always good. But yeah, that's why it's, it's so important for you to switch to natural, and um, you're not going to get the same results, but you are going to get good results, which is just enough for you and your body mm -hmm. you know, to keep healthy. Well, we hope you find your forever deodorant and um, keep it natural. Don't, you know, switch over. Do not use the chemical laden uh, traditional commercial deodorants. Just not necessary. No, there's a lot of really good options that do this just the same job as a Dove or a Secret or any of the exactly. aluminum brands. Exactly. So if you find anything that, you know, you can give us your review on yeah. please put it in the comment section because we are always searching for um, new deodorants that are natural that are effective mm -hmm. and um, if it could control a little bit more wetness that would be wonderful so please put it in the comment section section below we'd love to hear from you and um, please remember to subscribe and hit the uh, bell so that way you get notifications when we put our videos out every Thursday. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for joining us today and we will see you next Thursday. See you next week. Bye-bye.